One timers here, Matt and Justin talking about the semifinals. We got the final four here for the World Cup. Uh, the first matchup here is Brazil versus Germany. And then the second one, uh, that is going to be between the Netherlands and Argentina. Let's start first with the hosts, Brazil versus Germany. Uh, very physical matchup for Brazil against Colombia. No Neymar due to him getting hurt. And uh, no Thiago Silva due to uh, yellow card accumulation. Um, the Germans, uh, they have a good attack, but didn't really show against France, but yet they did get the winner through Hummels very early on. Uh, what are you excited about for this matchup? You know what? Uh, it's a sad time in Brazil. Even the, I think you saw the video. Even the babies are crying in Brazil for Neymar. Uh, it's, just tough. it's tough for them when he's on the poster boys for the host. But... It's going to be it's going to be interesting to see who fills those holes for for Brazil, who steps up with those players out. Uh, Germany kind of is full of Spain and kind of found ways to win 1-0, but look dominating like you have no chance. So uh, it's up to Brazil to push the tempo, and uh, I think you kind of look for Brazil. Uh, the only Germany is playing is they want to use their size and kind of just Make it, make it physical and try to just gut it out with, with that advantage. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I mean, with uh, Neymar, don't get me wrong, Neymar's, you know, been fantastic this tournament. A lot of people, you know, trying to figure out if he was going to, if he was going to shy away from the light or not, but he's been fantastic. Uh, but I think the loss of Thiago Silva is going to hurt Brazil much more against Germany than uh, not having Neymar because, I mean, the Germans are going to have probably the best attack that Brazil is going to have seen yet. And now you're out without your captain, uh, one of the two in the back line. Um, that could really spell some trouble for Brazil with Germany trying to, you know, use a wave after wave of attack. Now, the good news for Brazil, though, is that Germany has not really succeeded in using their attack. So, interesting there. Um, obviously, the Neymar being out really hurts kind of... Just the tournament aspect and all, because you know you you come to see the world's best players go at it. And here, Neymar, um, a very fundamental part of Brazil, not going to be able to play against Germany here in the semifinal. Um, there's been a lot of talk that uh, Oscar is going to be the one that needs to step up and uh, kind of try and fill in the role for Neymar, um, which you know Oscar is capable of doing. I believe uh, he won't. He's not as flashy as Neymar. You know, not as star star. You know, in the stardom or the you know the light like that. But I think Oscar is a very good player, very technical player. He can get the job done. And uh, just just think about this for a moment here, Matt. The possibility okay, okay. of having Fred up top, Oscar filling behind them, and you got Willian and maybe Ramirez in there. Those are Ramirez. Willian and Oscar, three Chelsea players, all throwing in right there. Uh, there's got to be some good chemistry with them for playing for both club and for country. So that could be a very interesting move. That's true. I think the thing that you definitely want to exploit if you're Germany or if you're on Brazil is I think Hulk has looked pretty good at, uh, at times. Uh, really, he's about five eight, two hundred three pounds. Yeah. In my guess, the way how big his shoulders are. Uh, and, but I, I'm interested to see if Germany sticks with the four center back or if they, go, if they put Blom kind of back where he kind of Blom's a good player you can put him anywhere he'd probably be good goalie um, <laughs> but um, I think if, if I was Germany I'd try to put Hulk I'd put Blom back there on the right side to take on Hulk I think uh, if they have one of those huge 6-3 center backs back there yeah, that's a good point too. Hawk is actually um, back in the Chile game. Hawk was doing much more to try and get Brazil that win than anyone else on the team. Uh, I felt like he played the best. Uh, sure, he had the mistake that resulted in Sanchez's goal, but um, after that, he did have the the goal where that was called back due to hitting hitting his. Uh, having a handball, and then he also created a lot of chances. Um, so Hulk has really played very well this tournament. Um, on the flip side for Germany, I I just feel like they, the Lowe has just not really played some of these guys to their best 
position. Uh, I mean, we've seen Lom be playing in the midfield when he's a much better right or left back. Um, which, I mean, you did say he can play pretty much anywhere, which is true, but um, his favorite position, uh, I'm sure, is right or left back, so you would think that he should play back there. I think they did do that against France, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Lom fell back in the in the back line, and then Murtisacker came out, which gave them a little bit more speed in that back line to deal with uh, Benzema and, and some of that French attack. Um, but just kind of a, a weird game, because you know, Hummel scored very early, um, and then just not really a whole lot happened after that. Um, so that, you know, that was kind of interesting. But the the thing that kind of interests me, really, with this matchup is both teams have looked good at times, and other times they've looked really bad. But at the same time, they've both gotten the job done and found a way to win, as you had mentioned before. Um, obviously, that's going to come to an end for one of those two teams uh, coming up. But, um, you know, Hummels, Hummels has done it. He scored a couple goals now for a tournament, but... Uh, David Luiz, I mean, scoring two goals and both of the, these, uh, he scored a goal against the Chile and then he scored the goal against Colombia. Um, I think, I personally think that the best sort of uh, the best title run you can make, a team that deserves to win a title, is a team that has a well balanced attack where you can get goals from anyone, but also a team that can score goals through their defense. And Germany's done a little bit through Matt Hummels, and obviously Philip Lom can score as well. But Brazil, this tournament. Uh, Louise and Silva had the other one. Those two have stepped up. Obviously, no Silva, but you got to feel confident that you have a star studded attack with Brazil. And even though those guys aren't scoring, they're finding goals through someone else. Yeah, they are finding ways to score. Uh, I'll give you that. But I, I think I know Brazil is a little uh, down a couple of their best players. But if I'm Brazil, I look at that Algeria game and I look at some of the power attacking moves and they're definitely more out than Algeria, and uh, it took them all the way um, to the depths. But I think if I'm Brazil, I really want to push the pace. Every time I get the ball, if I want to get possession, I look to rock the ball field to Oscar or Holt mm-hmm. and take on those, those players. Um, it's been really interesting to see who dominates possession because um, both of these teams, I think, in every game they've had, they've, had, they've clearly had the possession in every game they've had. Uh, so that if, if they, and obviously they can't have, uh, they can't happen. They can't both have a lot of possession. So, um, if I'm Brazil, I really look to just attack the back four of Germany and see and test them speed wise. Um, and I feel like there's some, there's some random Brazil kid um, coming off the bench that we haven't heard. We, well, we just yet to be a star who, who might make an impact in the Germany game. I'm, I'm not quite familiar enough with your Brazil team, but I, I think it also, I think another fact in the game that kind of helps that this game we played, I believe, 3 p.m. our time, so it's a night game in Brazil, and it, from what I think, it seems like those games help the European teams a little more than the South American teams, because it seems like he's really training uh, for those teams, but nonetheless, I think, I'm going to make my call here, JT, okay. I see Brazil... I can see Brazil winning this game. I think it's going to be, I think Brazil is going to take, take the tempo. Um, and Germany hasn't played a team quite with as much talent as Brazil yet. And the and and even though they lost the players, I think to be, I think it's going to be a two to one Brazil win. I think it'll be as our, our friend Ian Dark is dripping with dramatics. So but I think Brazil find a way, and I think Neymar might be a source of inspiration. Wow, very nice. I, I, I you know, I'm a, I will agree with you. I think that uh, Brazil win this one too. Your score line seems like a pretty good uh, case to make for that. Um, I think with with Neymar going out, I think there is a lot of inspiration for this team to to get the job done. Not only just for the country, but also for Neymar. Um, Germany, it, you know, they it's just it's interesting to me that you have that much talent as well, uh, but yet. Um, you know, you you can sort of make the same. Well, no, I, I'm a, I'm just gonna say this: Brazil, in the group stage, Mexico was the one team I thought would give them trouble. They did. It was a nil-nil draw. Obviously, when you're playing um, Chile and Colombia, I thought those games would be close. They got the job done, both of those. Germany, though, I don't think there's really 
that much of an excuse. They should have handled Ghana fairly well. It was a 2-2 tie. They should have handled the U.S. fairly well. They only got one goal and one one nil. And then they, sh they should have handled Algeria well, but they took him to extra time, and they, they kind of had to hold on there and, and at the very end to win 2-1. Um, France and um, the other game, France and uh, Portugal, well, they handled Portugal very well, but France, I thought, would be close. They did get the job there, um, but... It's, it's like you said, it's, I mean, sure you can make the argument that Brazil hasn't played very well either, but it just, it's confusing to me that Germany has, you know, everyone's talking about Germany's attack, but yet, you know, they find ways to win, I'll get them that, but at the same time, you know, sure they score four against a 10-man Portugal, but after that, they have not really found goals as readily as I thought they would. Um, so, yeah, I... I think the ratio of two I mean, they don't really have, I, I, you were a great player, but I think he's best with right behind a, a, a real, a full, a pure striker. Mm -hmm. And I think that we kind of missing one more midfielder player. I think, one, uh, the games I've watched, Old Zill, um, shout out to Claypool, the Arsenal player. Uh, I quite, I haven't really quite seen what I'm used to for him. I think Marco Roy is the best, he's the best young player. And if they would have had him, I think it might have changed the dynamic. Uh, for this team, because he's uh, pretty dynamic shooting and pretty plays for everyone. But mm -hmm. I think they kind of missed it. I, I think the lineup doesn't quite click as, as well as some of you like. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think uh, Royce not being in that lineup does kind of hurt him. I think that Truler has been playing much better than Ozil. Um, I think Truler might have started the France game, if I remember correctly, but Ozil has. Yeah. Ozil has just not really done anything lately, and then Schurler comes in, gets the goal against Algeria. Uh, Schurler also, towards the end of the season, just with Chelsea, has had been playing very, very well. He got a hat trick in one game. He um, got an assist in another. Just kind of down the stretch, Schurler was playing fantastic. Um, so I think that this is a, a situation where you got to start him over Ozil for sure. Um, yeah, Ozil just has not been very productive. Um, lately, and I think I think it you know it comes down you gotta you know tweak tweak the lineup some, and I, I think the lineup they play with France, despite not having a lot of goals, probably is the best lineup for them. Um, but yeah, for Brazil, I just you know I, the funny thing is, is you know I feel like neither neither team has really kind of been up against the other team. Obviously, you know it's it's now or never because it's the semifinals. But I'm very interested to see what's going to happen, but. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that uh, I think that Brazil is going to win this uh, win this game and uh, continue on towards the World Cup. It'll definitely be uh, a little drama. Two, two, arguably the two of the best uh, teams in in history of soccer. Yep, absolutely.